Okay, let's see. Okay, I am live, I think. So, um, I'm gonna wait for Brandon because I didn't want to do it by myself. Plus, we have this really big announcement for tomorrow. So, oh, hi, Gracie. Okay, yeah, this, is, this isn't too bad. Not too scary. Um, I'm not really sure how to, like, add Brandon once he's in here. Like, I know, like, there's probably a button somewhere, but we'll see. Hey, Brittany! Yeah, so I did it. Oh, there's Brandon. Okay, so how do I add you? Oh, yes. Brandon sent a request. You go live with Brandon. Let's see if this works. Hey, Stuart. Hey, Amanda. Okay, Boom. we're good. We did it. Very technologically savvy of us. Yeah. Right, let's see. My chin's cut off. I'll just sit up tall. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Goodness. I won't get that close. Hey, welcome, everyone. I have my little list of things that I want to talk about. But, um, so, anyways. That's crazy! <laughs> uh, it's been a crazy day. I've been doing all of the, the artsy things, and then I realized it was time to do a live, and I couldn't find my tripod. I have two tripods, and one of them was, like, the one that I like is, like, disappeared from the face of the earth. <laughs> that, that was fun. Hey, Caleb. Uh. This is so crazy. Okay, so um, as a lot of you know, we have an Art Stew podcast, and um, that's been very, um, like, secretive and private, and, like, nobody can listen to it except for the people that are patrons, but we've decided to change that. It's a big deal. Yeah, you talk, Brandon. Um, so from tell, the get-go. Tell, tell them you host it and all that. Okay, I'm hosted. So whenever you tune in and listen to the podcast, it's my voice. Don't cringe, but it's my voice. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> so when Ray pitched this to me early on, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, – confess everything so when she pitched it to me early on she was like i'm thinking about making it public and i was like no no like i don't think i ever told you this but i was like no like if it's gonna go public i'm out like because oh just, i didn't I, know that yeah i was just self-conscious about my voice and i was like look i like the art stew the stewards i trust so like they won't like be harsh or mean to me. So like even if it's awful, they're just gonna say nice things. So okay, I felt yeah. comfortable with that. But then as I've hosted it and talked to a lot of the stewards and You realized you were a pro. Yeah, not a pro, but it it wasn't as painful as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. And so uh anyway, so after we talked about it for the past few weeks. Yeah. Um Well Yeah. yeah. So we think that we're going to take the podcast and make it public. So mm -hmm. uh, you can listen to it anywhere and anytime. I just think that the world deserves to hear Brandon, for one, the way he talks to people. He really gets, like, good com like conversations out of people, I think. And it's like a whole story vibe. I think that it would be so beneficial for the stew, to, for everyone to get to know each other better. And um, that's basically the goal of the podcast is that everybody get to know each other better. better. So it makes it really like there's not much pressure there. And um, I think that it's so interesting to hear from artists that um, are not famous yet, but they're, they're <laughs> working on their art every day. And that's just like exactly what everybody else is doing, what we're doing. And so it's good to hear like how they go about making art every day, their, their thought processes and all of that. So I really just want the world to hear it. So that's kind of why we're making it public. So, but yeah. Um, yeah, for patrons that are wondering like, okay, where's the podcast? What, what reward am I getting if I'm not getting the podcast? 
Um, surprise! I'm doing a Ray Ramble, basically, so my own little mini podcast. And um, it will be just kind of like art stew news, like what's happening in the month. And also, I'm just going to be, I don't know, there's there's kind of a new way of doing podcasts, which is like really relaxed, really rambly, and you just listen to somebody talk and ramble while you do your other projects. Um, so I, I feel like that's more my vibe. I'm not going to be one who's speaking super like eloquently or whatever. <laughs> So I just ramble. And so that's what the Ray, yeah, the Ray ramble, Amanda. So I think um, that will be in place of that. But you like, if you're at the $5 tier, which is what the podcast used to be um, to, to have access to the arts Two podcast, um, you're still going to have like your money's going towards the public podcast. That's the reason we can make it public. And also, um, a little reward on the side would be my Ray Rambles. <laughs> that sounds funny. But, um, yeah, so you can look forward to that. But today I've been working on um, what we're going to use tomorrow to announce the launch. And it's it's just a bunch of words, really. But um, it's, it's a quote. It's not a bunch of words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, so it's just a um, bunch of words. I don't know. No, okay. it's a it's a quote from uh, each podcast. Yes, right? yes. So anytime now that you see a quote on the feed, that's basically me saying that I'm releasing a an episode of the podcast. Hey, Carolina, Carolina. Um, so basically, just um. It's going to be a quote from the actual episode, and you'll I'll have a link in the bio. Right now, there's no links in the bio to the podcast because it's not live, but it will be tomorrow. So I'm sure you'll see a post about that tomorrow. Now, I have a question. Okay. So where, where can you listen to it? Because I know you can submit it on iTunes, but then, like, I, I listen to podcasts on Stitcher. Like, I know you can listen to them on Spotify. So yeah. is there a specific particular spot at first or this is going to be available everywhere yeah it's just mostly on the um on itunes okay but it's also I mean, on soundcloud oh, okay cool but i don't yeah. know if anybody uses that right now I, i'm not putting it anywhere else because i haven't done the research but maybe eventually it will be but yeah, yeah just itunes but that's what i use anyways iTunes and Oh, no, YouTube that's perfect. I was just, yeah, favorites. because not everybody uses iTunes. I use yeah. iTunes for certain podcasts that I can't get other places. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted everyone to be clear where are the best places to find it. I should have talked to you about this before because you know more probably about where to put podcasts. But. Not, re not really. I just, I mean, because, yeah. I mean, there's, you know, there's 10 different ways to skin a cat. So we're just going to go with one. The main <laughs> That's such a hick saying. Oh my gosh. I've never even heard that. I can't believe I haven't ever heard that saying because my dad. No, you've is... never heard that? There's no. more than one way to skin a cat. No. Yeah. That's an I old don't think saying. So. <laughs> I'm not. I've, I've heard. Um, uh, oh, what is it? No, I can't remember. My dad says something about better than a goat can butt a stump. <laughs> See, I've never heard of that. The most hick. Quote ever praise, but that's my dad for you. Uh, nice. Oh gosh. You've never heard that. I know. Well, maybe I have. Maybe I'm just nervous and I'm not remembering. My my brain's fogging over. Oh well, thanks, Caleb. Everybody's making me feel real good about not knowing <laughs> this phrase. Just kidding. It's okay. okay. I've, never, I've never seen nor read Harry Potter, so let the hate comments now <laughs> scroll up just because I don't know that, that Harry Potter. <laughs> the, uh, that, that's kind of sad, but you know my view on that, that like eventually you will hear it or read it, and you'll love it, and you'll be able to read it for the first time. Which I'm going to do an I'm audio book, like you said. That's probably, that's probably the best bet. Yeah, yeah. Something I can listen to and then draw. I think that's, I think that's good. Okay, so um, basically this voice that you're hearing right now from Brandon, that's the voice on the podcast. And um, it's just, I, I feel like um, Brandon <laughs> and 
of course, he <laughs> didn't know he was going to be doing this kind of thing ever. And um, from episode one, you just can tell that he's he's kind of a natural. So um, here's here's the people he's interviewed so far. So episode one was myself. Um, what did we talk about? We talked about... We talked about the arts, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We introduced what it was. I put you on the spot and asked you questions about when you started drawing. And, Thank you, Caleb. And you didn't know what to say, but you muddled through it, and you did great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, th yeah. Well, that, that, was, that was another thing. I mean, I could sing Brandon's praises forever, but, like, I, it, I know that, like, his skill of just making people feel comfortable. And like, if there's kind of an awkward silence, he'll just like jump right in and make you feel like it wasn't ever awkward in the first place. I try, I try. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then- um, And if it does get really awkward, then you just edit it out and nobody ever- <laughs> <laughs> I can make people say anything I want with editing. It's really <laughs> scary. Uh, uh. But um, yeah, so, do you want to read that quote that I sent you from? Um, I don't, it's on my phone. I didn't oh, even, oh, oh yeah. I didn't write it of... down. Could you the... send it to me? And I was like, all right, cool. I can do that. And then I was like, oh, I don't have it. So no, I can't no. read it. I'm sorry. Nah, nah. You have okay. to read it to us. They'll see it tomorrow. So that's good. Okay. Um, okay. So, and then, so, so far we've had four interviews or five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. We've had five. Okay. But we have six episodes that we're going to be dropping. One right. each week. So um, what we're going to do is drop three episodes tomorrow. And then from there, add an episode every week. Is that a, a good way to say it? Yeah. Um, so... Basically, the first episode's my episode, talking about the arts, do what it is, and then episode two, and it's actually, like, two parts, so there's part one and part two of episode two, um, is Gracie. I don't know if Gracie's still on here, but, yeah, Gracie was um, the feature for that episode, and she talked about finding your style, which we all know she has, like, the best style in the world, so everybody wants to hear how she got that style. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, we talked about storytelling, telling stories. That's my favorite part because yeah. that's how I met Gracie or how she made an impression on me was her tell talking about the stories that made an impression on her and basically how they, um, changed her worldview kind of. Yeah. Right. Gracie. Am I saying She's this? Still here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, like, for her, her, the stories are, like, Peter Pan, Secret Garden, a lot of the classics, and me and Gracie connect so much, and I think it's partly because we read those books, and so we have a lot of the same worldviews. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then episode three was Stone Love Charm. I don't, I don't think he's on here right now. But um, Stone was, I mean, he's very, he's, he's the one who's eloquent. Hey, Jackie. Um, so basically, he, he, you know how you're, everybody talks about, you know, you want support in your art or whatever. Well, he in particular hasn't had, like, people supporting his art, and he's turned that into a good thing. So he, he talks about that. What else did y'all talk about? I'm trying to think. He talked about writing style and, like, honing your oh, yeah. writing style. Oh, and yeah. And realizing that. Sometimes you have to let go of some things that you love, even though you oh, love yeah, them, was... in order to make it, I don't know, to make it more accessible. To let like, go of your oh, ego. Yeah. Is what y'all were talking about. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That so, that was a really, really honest and great podcast because, yeah, it's just like talking about some of the, ta a little bit of taboo things maybe, but really, um, like spinning them into good i really liked that one and then uh episode four was anya campbell i'm not saying their instagram names i should be but um someday anya, maker anya, anya someday, someday maker because i grilled her about it yeah oh, yeah but 
But y'all didn't really actually talk about it on the podcast. Like, what were you teasing her about? Because she, at, before, okay, so before I interviewed her, I sent her an email, and I was just like, hey, uh, you know, we want to interview you, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, but I really want to know why it's called Someday Maker, because, like, you're making stuff. And part of my philosophy is, is that, you Part are. of my philosophy is, like, you, you are who you say you are. So if I introduce mm -hmm. myself to Brandon, uh, you know, just a human, and I'm just a human, but if I say I'm an artist, then you're an artist. Like, if you're sitting down and you're spending 30 minutes a day at a typewriter or, on, you know, on a computer and you're writing things, then you're a writer. You may not be published, but you're a writer. Amen. Yeah, like, you're still doing the deed. And so I was kind of giving her a hard time. I was like, what's this someday maker? It's kind of self-defeating, like... Yeah. You're a maker, like done. And so, yeah. She, uh, so, yeah. And then she was talking about how she does feel like she's the real deal pianist, but she's not quite to that point with her little dabblings of right. embroidery and doodling and all that. Um, right. Yeah. Right. You all talked a little bit about imposter syndrome because, and Gracie did too, but. Yeah. yeah. Well, she loved, she loved, I think she mentioned Gracie's interview, but yeah. we talked about the imposter syndrome. We talked about getting out there and showing art to people who aren't artists necessarily, but letting art be a part of everyone's everyday life because it's important. Yeah. Uh, and then she played piano. Uh, yeah, at the very end, she plays Debussy or Debussy. I don't know how to say that. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's just like a waterfall of piano playing. It's so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so, and, and she talks about, like, what I think would be so great is if when you guys listen to it, you contribute to a conversation, because she's basically asking the question, how do you reach, yeah, Claude Debussy, um, uh, she's basically talking about, um, how, uh, she wants to, uh, share art with everyone, is that what it was? Yeah, yeah. The name of the title of the podcast is, um, what was it? Uh, Making Art Magic with Art Muggles. <laughs> which, which I don't Brandon understand. Brandon didn't, didn't understand <laughs> that reference because he, he's in the dark. What did you say? I said, which I don't understand that reference. But okay, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. So, basically, she's like, I don't know how you do it, but she wants to do more, like, maybe not like forcing people to go with her to the museum, but doing more like in a social setting of appreciating art in social settings and yeah. that whole movement. And she wasn't anyways, y'all, y'all will have to listen to it and give her some input input on how you think she should could go about incorporating that into her weekly basis or whatever. So <laughs> I'm struggling. I've been talking too long. You're okay. fine. Fine. Okay. The next so, one. Uh, and then lastly, or second to lastly, um, my uh, y'all might remember Apollonia. That's her Instagram, but it's Apollonia. Um, she was the first steward that I connected to through the stew, and she's from Malaysia. And we had, um, this was the first episode where Brandon and I um, interviewed someone together. So, um, yeah, uh, she was talking a lot about how, like, you can go out for a day, like, go out and, uh, like, sketch people in real life and take inspiration from those people that you see. Like, you come up with, like, outfits and, like, all, what were some of her examples? Something like someone was uh, carrying, like, a guitar case as a backpack. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But it wasn't like there wasn't a guitar in there. It was like their their backpack. Right, right. And little... just, yeah, she was just, I guess, speaking to seeing the nuances in the everyday life, just sitting and watching people, and kind of like as you sit and you people watch, letting that inspire your work, and then you know, inadvertently, you're going to make up stories about like why do you have clothes in your backpack? And it's yeah. a guitar case. Like, what happened to your guitar? And, like, you can actually build stories around these people. Yeah, it's Just by observing them. So Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was cool. Yeah. 
So that was the last one that, or that's the one that I'm uh, editing right now. But um, Brandon, you just interviewed somebody today. I just interviewed uh, Rachel Heffington. Yay, our favorite. She's got two handles. Yeah, she's at Lipstick and Gelato and at Gelato Bee. Gelato Bee being her her handle for her illustrations and the other for her food. And it was a great conversation. I'm not going to spoil anything. But we talked Darn. about we talked about both because I, I talked about her inspirations as an artist and her inspirations as uh, a, a foodie or someone who bakes and cooks and all the time and it was a great conversation and I told her this and which I'll tell everybody like I've ne- I have yet to have a boring conversation with the steward like it's always insightful it's always the really super fun it's always just i love talking to you guys and kind of diving into your thought process and a little bit of your lives and you know there's literally no wrong way to go about being interviewed is what i'm finding yeah it's on this podcast yeah. yeah it's just i like the i like the vibe that the podcast has it's just like we're just sitting down just like if we were having coffee somewhere and just talking like hey what what do you do? How did you start that? Well, what made you think of that? And it's and it's always yeah. all the stewards are always very honest and just up front and mm-hmm. like we're just talking and it's amazing. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. So, um Yeah, can you think of anything else you want to talk about? I think that's all that I had. I mean, I have more things to talk about that are off subject. But um, No, I think that's good. I think that's good. You yeah. can go ahead to the next to the next one. Yes, Gracie. It has to be cozy to be in the art stew. Okay, so um, this week's prompt is <laughs> the meaning of your name. Do you know the ne- the meaning of your name? I thought we could talk about it <laughs> yeah. a little bit. I know the meaning, and it's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? The meaning of my name is on Beacon Hill. It's... I don't even know what that means. Okay, on Beacon well... Hill? I've got a beacon on it, and that's what Brandon means. On Beacon Hill. On Beacon Hill. That is interesting. I wonder, I mean, wait until you hear what the meaning of my first name is. <laughs> okay, so my first name is Whitney. I go by Ray, but um, Ray means flow, which is awesome. I mean, it's inspiring because it, it inspires me to just, you know, like, give, give, give. Caleb says the beacons are lit. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. What is that lyrics? No, that's not weird. That's a um, Lord of the Rings reference. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm a mole. Boom. Woman. I do I know Lord know. of the Rings. I've read it and seen the movies. As being a kind of visionary leader. Mm, no, you're gonna make me blush. What? So you're gonna make me blush. Oh yeah. Compliments. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Um, so yeah, okay, so um, Ray is flo- Ray means flow, that's good, but my first name is Whitney, and Whitney means the island of the gray hairs. Nice. But so you island, like that? The, island, it's well, so but, weird. it's weird because island of the gray hairs is sort of geographical, and so is like on Beacon Hill, like they both have imagery built into the names, does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah. Still weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's what my name means. Um, uh, yeah. So um, you guys, awesome. I hope you're having fun coming up with your things. If you're working on this week's prompt, I know that I have a partner for the week. And I have the best partner, just have to say. It's Cheryl. I don't think she's on here, but everybody knows Cheryl. Um, okay, wait. Amanda says that it can also have Celtic origins from Old Welsh. So. Your name or mine? I think she's talking about my name. Bron or Bran meaning crow. Oh, you guys are so smart. I don't know what the, what's done mean. Done. He's an old crow. He's a done crow. He's done with life. <laughs> I really don't oh, make yeah. it, I'm making that up. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds more like mine with the island of the gray hairs. It's, just, it's yeah. like, it's all. Old people, basically. Which well, I like. Jackie, Jackie I like says that. gray hairs like, like rabbits. No, it's spelled H A I R. I'm pretty sure. So, so island of old people. Yeah, 
Which That's is amazing. cool, actually. That's I amazing. like that now. <laughs> but I was thinking, like, literal gray hairs are, like, the islands made of gray hair. Oh, you're Which would be gross. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> A place of wisdom. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I like I like their interpretation. That's really great. These are yeah, awesome. This, I'm feeling better about my name now. Ray yeah. was a titan. Yeah. She was? Wait, he? She? Ray was a titan? Because Ray was a titan, so that's pretty cool. And Jackie also agrees that the island would be gross. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, okay, so let's... What? How long have we been going? I'm not sure. I have no idea. Uh, a little I under can't half see. Hour. You guys can tell us. It's a little under half an hour. Yeah, it's like right at six. Okay. Um, okay, so do you have any tips in mind to share? for? Because this wasn't actually tips until now. So to make it official, Tuesday tips? Um, do you anything up your no. sleeve? You, do you? Do you? Kind of. I kind of already go. mentioned it. Okay. You go. Okay, so I mean... I'm I'm kind of newer to art, so um, take everything I say with a grain of salt. But um, so uh, one thing that I'm finding is helpful is to go out and draw and sketch. I'm someone that always tended to draw something for it to be perfect, to have like an end final piece that I could sell. And just recently, I've been trying to do more sketching, which sounds weird, because you think most people start start out with sketching, but I'm just now starting to just, like, draw from life, do more sketching. So um, I've been getting a lot of new art utensils, which I'm really excited about. And, and you saw everybody who saw the photo I did, or the drawing I did today, that's with some of those. Because I'm really into red. Red is my new favorite color. I had some kind of midlife crisis where my favorite color changed. <laughs> I'm not sure. What was your favorite color? <laughs> what was it before? Uh, green. Oh, it was green. Mm -hmm. You just went to the other side of the wheel. I know. I went from like really springy and fresh like to like really deep, dark, and uh, bloody. <laughs> yeah. That's a really bad con. Never mind. <laughs> Hey, Red's a good color. Red's a good color, though. I'm Go so ahead. glad you're here, Emily. Um, everybody say hi to Emily because I'm going to have a Because I just um, went to one of her shows and I was telling her <laughs> to to be a part of the art stew. And she's like, but nobody will like me. No, but you know, like she got all. <laughs> you're going to make her leave. <laughs> yeah. And she got all self-conscious. Guys, she has like thousands and thousands of followers. So I think I think she's fine. I think she's doing fine. She, look, she's red. She's your favorite color. <laughs> My favorite. Oh, that's a long one. Uh, who said that? Amanda. Oh, I'm Amanda. I only, I have to read out loud because... I only read as fast in my head as I read out loud. I only really started the journey to being an artist a bit over a year ago and only dove in for real and favorite. Good for you. And I'm super chicken to share. Yeah, I mean, it does take time to get more used to it. But you're doing great. You do all the things, Amanda. Yeah. Sorry, Emily. Okay. So, oh, speaking of Wait, Emily, wait, real oh quick. Oh, my God. Emily, oh, what's that? Emily paints these little canvas things. Oh, that is Emily's. Yeah, this is Emily's. Nice. So, yeah, I just love oh. it. She does a lot of, like, peonies and roses and stuff, which is not what these are. You you can go to her account and look at what she she does. But you can kind of see on her profile picture. But um, this is so crazy. I'm sharing this, and you're on here. Um, so <laughs> I've been carrying this in my purse, and I loved it because I just think it's quirky how it says top secret. But... Basically, I'm putting all my art utensils in there. I just got a bunch of um, Prismacolor red pins because my favorite color is red. So I'm sort of sketching with, oh, <laughs> I'm so distracted. Instead of sketching with um, a normal graphite pencil, I've been using these and they have erasers. They don't like erase as good as some, so you have to draw really light, but I love them. 
Um, and I got a new eraser. It's the this it's backwards. Stadler. Stadler. Razoplast. Sounds like a type of surgery or something. Sounds like something that goes by. And I. <laughs> I don't know Sorry. if I, I don't know if I would actually carry this in my purse. Maybe it wouldn't leak. Do you know the India ink? Indian ink? It shouldn't. I'd still bag it. Just yeah. better safe. Sorry. Put a Pokemon. little plastic bag. Yeah. So yeah, I have been getting. I got some red ink, and then I have this black, and then. Is this interesting? I, I don't know. Okay, so anyways, this is what I used for my last. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just going to sleep. Um, this is what I used for my last drawing. And it's just a pilot red pen. It's, is it gel? I'm not sure what it is. But anyways, like that. And I love it because you can kind of go thick and thin. Like it's, it's not all one gradient. What's, what's the word? I don't know. I don't know Thick. what I'm talking about, you guys. One thickness. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. And then I've been using this moleskine? Moleskin? Moleskin. Yeah. And it's so small and tiny, and I can just put it in my purse. I love it. So um, those of you that were signed up for a patron gift box, it's the Art Stew, um, what's it called? Art Stew Pot Box. Um you got one of those moleskines, moleskins. Moleskin. Moleskins. Moleskin. Okay. So anyways. You can probably um, both pronounce it wrong. As long as we know what we're talking about. Yeah. They're overpriced journals, but they're great. They're moleskins, whatever. Go yeah. ahead. Well, yeah, I love it. I love the, the smoothness of the paper. It's a little thin for me, but um, not all of them are this thin. I don't think. I think they change. But um, here's right now. I've I ha I have the pillow. I have paper inside of them because, like, say I drew on one side, but if I want to use this for something else and like tear it out or something for the back of that page, I just washi tape something in. Huckleberry. So, board. anyways, I'm having fun with that, and I just think people should go out, like, go to a coffee shop draw like grumpy old people grumpy old people yeah or go to a park and draw trees like if you feel like one of your weaknesses in drawing is weaknesses i don't know um is drawing trees then um you can see them there in real life and get all sketchy great time out okay jackie says or she asks where do you want to sh where do you shop for art supplies amazon but also, also Hobby Lobby and Michael's. So, I mean, if I have a coupon, then maybe Michael's or Hobby Lobby. But Amazon's right. nice because there's no shipping most of the time. Amazon Prime. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I do. I kind of do the same, but I do a lot. I kind of mix the both. But yeah, if I want a new product, I kind of get online and research it a little bit. And, like, I've got a couple of artists that I look to uh, that – I trust what they use. Jake Parker is one of them, and he's really cool. He has like a he has a page on his website of just the tools that he uses. Wow! And so you can just go and you can like figure out what pin he uses, and you can click on it, and he's linked them to Amazon. So it's like, oh, okay. So you can just click on the link; it brings you right to the page, and you can buy it straight off of Amazon. But uh, that's cool. you know, so like I'll have a few artists that I just kind of trust. I'm like, oh, where do they get their supplies from, or what are they using? And then you can buy those supplies kind of from anywhere wherever they sell art supplies. <laughs> Amanda, please. I'm the worst with words. Yes, I, I don't don't be too sketchy, but you know. It it makes keeps things interesting. Um I got in trouble for drawing somebody one time, so just be careful. Oh really? Yes. I've heard of like taking pictures and getting in trouble, but not no, drawing. I was them. at a, uh, and the part of the problem was I was at a school. I was at like a, hey, I think it was a high school. So I was at a high school and I was just drawing some of the kid volunteers that were helping us. And like, it wasn't being super creepy weird. I was just 
doing these little doodles of the kids and like almost caricatures of what they look like. And one girl caught sight of my open sketchbook and saw that it would look like her and then got completely weirded out. And oh. the teacher came over and she was like, why are you drawing her? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> the point of view. It could it's, sound it's, creepy, but. It's like, Sorry that it's creeping her out. I'll stop drawing people. And so I closed it and put it away. But it made her feel really uncomfortable. So be careful. Yeah. Just say it. That's that's funny. Maybe that, that doesn't happen very often. I don't know. Just be careful. Just go ahead and draw old people because they're already grumpy. And so Did you see I Amanda's think? pun? It's pretty great. No. No, what did she say? Were you doing sketchy sketches? Yes. They were sketchy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Caleb, good. you would like that. <laughs> okay so um uh, she sketches. i think it would be so fun i i mean i made all the prompts for this year ahead of time but i wish i had actually i think i do have one where we have to go out and um draw like whatever we come up with we just have to do it outside of our normal studio setting cool yeah. um so should we, do y'all have any more questions? Because I like that. Jack Brandon has to give a tip. But I don't want to give a tip. I don't really? have any tips. You've got all the tips. I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, I Try to draw every it. day. That's yeah. Try to draw every day, that. even if it's no good. Sit down. About and... your, your Monday things. Oh, that's true. So, um... I started doing coffee ring art again because uh, I'm working on a series based around uh, Texas themes because that's where I live. And so every Monday uh, I plan on doing this. So hopefully my schedule will kind of accommodate. But if I need to move it around, it's okay. But I'm going to take one day a week. I'm going to hop online and do a live drawing. And uh, I was just going to gauge people's interest. And I'm going to do it whether you guys are going to be there or not and that's not to say to slam anybody but i know we've all got different schedules and we all some of us have day jobs and that's all fine and dandy but i'm gonna get online hey rachel and spend some time drawing and working on this series probably throughout the rest of the month because if i do i plan on doing 12 of the coffee ring drawings and then so that's one a week so that would last at least a month and a half a couple of months right am i doing the math right Probably not. Anyway, Don't so ask me the right brain person. It will last for two and a half months. Anyway, so like every Monday, I'm gonna hop online, uh, live on Instagram, and then just work on one of the coffee ring drawings and just kind of just stream it live as I work on it. And so, if anyone wants to tune in and either draw with me or work on their own piece or just watch me draw, so they can maybe learn you know just different ways that i approach it and the different pens that i use and like the way that i hold my pen and just that sort of thing and just kind of learn by observing um you do learn so much from observing just like how somebody draws a line it's like you learn so much and <laughs> make you blows your mind but I, I really do learn from watching people and also for me i was drawing with brandon when he went live last was that yesterday? Yeah, today's Tuesday. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, I drew what I, I posted today, yesterday, while he was drawing. It took me a lot longer than what he did, but um, basically, I got started. But yeah, at least you get started. Look, Jackie says that she was inspired. She does 15 minutes every day and 14 days strong. Boom. Wow, Amazing. Jackie. We need that's to really celebrate. Cool. Yeah, that's way cool. So I haven't Can been we... doing my 10 minute sketches as regularly as I was, but I'm getting back into it. I had a couple of commissions I had to finish up and they were really weighing on me. So not that those are done. I'll probably get back into my 10 minute sketches again, but I'm super excited that Jackie's doing it. That's awesome. Yay, Jackie. Yeah. Teach me how to sketch. Oh, I heard, I heard, I don't know if this is a secret. No, uh, this, this is the bad thing about live videos. But um, uh, Jackie, you're going to go see Kimberly? No, Kimberly told me, so it's not a secret. You're going to go see Kimberly this weekend. I think. <laughs> oh, Huckleberry! Huckleberry! He came to join us. Now it's the real deal, Brady Bunch. Say Is hey. that what you're talking about? Say hey. <laughs> Why are you barking? There ain't nobody in here. He's so cute all the time. He's camera shy. He hates looking at the camera. A lot of dogs, yeah. 
Huckleberry. Right. Here, he yeah. wants to get out of bed. So anyways, Jackie, I'm really jealous that you're going to see Kimberly and that y'all are going to see each other, basically. I wish I could be there. But, um, yeah, you guys, if you can help motivate me to get an art stew meetup together for this year, because I keep forgetting about it. But, I mean, it may be Rachel, late, but... today Rachel did mention that she's super jealous that there's, there's a few of us kind of in close proximity in Texas. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah. I feel sorry for you guys. So we should probably go to Virginia and hang out for a little while. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna go to Virginia soon. So be ready for me, Rachel. <laughs> but but for real, like I want to do a meetup. What time is it? Are we running out of time? I'm not sure. But um, forty minutes. I want to do a meetup in Delaware, possibly. But I don't know if it's too last minute at this point if we plan it for this fall. And a lot of you guys are on the east. Coast. Hey, bye, Rachel. So, hi, Aunt Bessie. Oh, gosh. So, um, yeah, speaking of Virginia, we're going to do an art stew meetup close to there, hopefully. So, Sweet. anyways, but, I mean, I, got, I have a location. I have the plans. I just need to let you guys know about it. <laughs> so, oh, gosh. Is that everything? That's all that I got. I didn't have yeah. much. Yeah. Well, thank you all for joining us. Um, yes. I hope this got you Hi, hyped Joel. for tomorrow and the podcast stuff. Yeah. Oh, good. Carolina, Carolina would drive. I Where's think there you? would be a lot of people that would try to come because I feel like you, we're all so close. I mean, not location close, but like I feel so close to everyone. I just want to meet you like. It's like meeting some of your best friends, and it's like, of course, you would go to meet them. So that's how I we feel need, about it. We need to have an art stew con. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get all nerdy about it. Heck then, yes. Uh, you guys would all just dress up like Harry Potter characters. That's all that you would dress up as. <laughs> <laughs> I know all our, like, Gryffindor scarves or uh, <laughs> all the. <laughs> that would be so great. One of the days should be, like, Harry Potter day. That'd be yeah. so fun. Because I'm totally picturing, like, it has to be in the fall so that we can have stew, of course, because art stew. Um, and then just the cozy atmosphere, it has to. Hey, Brindy, you made it. That was Hey, Brindy. Art stew con. I'm telling you, we should do it. Art stew yeah. con. It's yeah. going to be a big deal. Ethan says he would do it. Then it, it must gonna be done. up as a gray haired beacon. Do sketchy sketches. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, uh, sorry, Brendy. We're about to get off, probably. But I mean, we can stay on here a little bit longer. Do y'all have any questions? I didn't even ask. Yeah, uh, any questions? But yeah, I mean, I should have asked that a long time ago because I know it takes a little while to think of questions. But if you have any, let us know. But um, yeah. Okay, bye, Gracie. She's gotta go. Okay, bye, Gracie. Did Dumbledore. 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 <laughs> Brandon's like, Dumbledore? Who's Dumbledore? That's so sad that you don't know who that is. I just want to be the little creepy guy with the big, long Yoda ears. That's all I want to be. I want to be Dumbledore's pink socks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always that. try to think of the weirdest things. <laughs> or, or like a, um, I can be a, a Bogart. Is that what it's called? Then you guys never see me. Bogart. Bogart? I don't know. Sorry, you guys. No idea. Yeah, Dobby. Is Caleb. That's a name, Dobby. That's who I want to be. Dobby. Dobby. He's so ugly but cute at the same time. Yeah, it's perfect for me. He's perfect. <laughs> Brandon. Uh. <sighs> So, Hold on. Anyways. Hold on. Amanda's got a question. Oh, okay. I'm not there, obviously, but how did you start getting commissions? Do you want to? Brandon, do... that's your subject, not mine. So, you know, it's really just kind of by chance. Uh, the, well, I'll tell you honestly, the last commission that I got is that I did an art show in Midlothian, which was about 45 minutes from here, and I just 
because I have a lot of content, and so I just make prints from all my originals, and I sell the prints at these little art shows. And so this was an outdoor art fair that pop up around the spring, kind of, you know, kind of everywhere. So I just signed up. You know, it's 50 bucks for a little booth space, so I set up a 10 by 10 pop-up tent booth and put my artwork up. So, but the main reason for doing that is A, to make a little money during the day, but B, just to network and meet people and get out to the community. And so the last commission that I did, actually finished last night, um, was a lady that just kind of met me at my little pop-up tent booth and she had an idea and she liked my art style. She liked the hearts that I was drawing and stuff like that. And so we just mm -hmm. kind of collaborated. She told me a little bit of what she had in mind and, and then I kind of executed it and was just in constant communication the whole time. But that's where I got my last commission. So I don't have a, like a ton of commissions, but I don't really advertise for them either. Like I'm sure like I see other artists that I'll go on Instagram, like, okay, open for commissions. I've never really done that just to put myself out there and be like, Hey, I'm ready for commissions. Cause honestly, I don't want to have so many that I get overwhelmed. So I haven't done that. But if people approach me first and initiate and ask, I'm like, Oh yeah, I can draw this for you or I can do this for whatever. So most of my commissions uh, just come from sure? kind of like word of mouth and then just networking with other people. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of other questions that were going while I was talking. So did you read? Did you read them? I didn't read them. No, uh, I mean, what kind of printer do you guys use? Uh, I don't have a. I print from somebody locally, so I don't print my own. But I have an Epson printer, but it's an old school Epson printer, and it's not. It's not meant for printing like art pieces, but. I've kind of rigged it to where I can do heavyweight cardstock that's acid free and feed it into the printer. And then the printer does an actually a decent job of printing because all of my artwork is just black and white or, you know, 90% of it's black and white. So that's not too hard for a printer to, you know, nail the color on because it's, it's just black and white. And yeah. so, so it's easy for me to print that out. But if I have anything else a little bit more than that, I use a local printer or there's a couple of the labs that I like to use because I do photography as well. So I know a lot of, a lot of labs can do fine artwork too. Uh, so I'll just take a photograph or, you know, a high res scan of my art and then send it to a lab. So it's kind of a, a few different ones, but I know Gracie prints her stuff at home. So I'm leaning towards eventually getting a, a high end printer, but I don't have one right now. It's an Epson. So it's a decent printer, but it's nothing I that I would brag about. I think Gra Gracie's is an Epson printer, but she's not yeah. here to help us. Well, but hers is like a large format, and okay, which means it's bigger than like an eight, eight and a half, you know, eight and a half by eleven. Um, and then she uses art, fine art paper, which um, I think it's called Red River Paper, which is a really great company because I've used them for photographs before. So she uses like fine art paper, and she has a decent printer, and but that gives her full control. So. Eventually, I'll get there as well, but I'm not there yet. So that answers. Oh, yeah. Brindy has a printer. Um, and Amanda, well, yeah, says, Amanda says Midlothian sounds like an elvish town. <laughs> it does. <laughs> is, that, is, like from, is that from Lord of the Rings or something? Yeah, like Lothlorien. It's Lothlorien. Lothlorien. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. So what did Brindy say? HP she said she got stressed. She opened oh. herself up commissions and had like 30 people in a week which is what I'm afraid of so like I if I ever did that I think I'd be like all right I'm open for a commission but I can only take the first five so I know I wouldn't overwork myself like I could you know commissions are open for five people and then if I get five emails then I shut it down like all right close for commission sorry I've got too many already I, I feel was, like most people would have the other problem that just shows how much like of a following you have or whatever I don't say I've never tried. I don't, I couldn't even really speak to that. Cause I don't know. I've oh, never okay. just opened myself up, but the truth be told, I just want to do my art. <laughs> that's, that's how I think most of us feel, you know? So we if I open myself up to too many about. commissions, I'll be doing art that I don't want to do for people I've never met. And that's a really grumpy outlook on life, but sometimes it's how I feel. <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, but so where's um, Midlothian? You answer that. I'm bad at directions. I don't know. I mean, Amanda, I do you know where... live in Texas. 
Do you know where Mansfield is? Are you familiar with Mansfield? How that relates to Fort Worth? Do, 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 Are you talking do, to me? Do, do, do. No, I'm talking oh, to a man. Okay. He's got to type. <laughs> yeah, you can hardly ask questions on these because it's going to take yeah. forever. Uh, yeah, I mean, I forget where you used to live, Amanda. But, um, yeah, we're in, where, where are we in Texas, Brendan? Brandon? I'll tell you. Hold on. Okay, I'm getting there. Give me one second. I think it's starting to get boring now. <laughs> There's my bad Texas. <laughs> so if we're here, oh if we're like somewhere in North Texas, Midlothian is... That's the worst Texas I've ever seen. It's south? Until you're not born here. I mean, I just, I mean, I just drew it, like... In, Less than like a half second. Anyway, so we're south. No, it's here in Midlothian is south. No, but I do know where Fort Worth is. <laughs> I lived in northeast Dallas though, closer to Oklahoma than Fort Worth. Um Yeah, so it's Ariel. actually south. So if you get on Fort Worth and you get on thirty five and then you head south, oh. it's just south. It's straight. You'll go past Mansfield and you go a little further and then you kinda of dog leg over. A little bit north, and then you're in Midlothian. So it's about 45 minutes away. It's not super far. It's super a small informative. town. Super informative. It's a small town. It's now you guys know exactly where we live. It's almost podunk. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. But it's it's charming. Yeah. Ariel. When I went, their coffee shop was closed. So it kind of made me mad from the get-go. But that's okay. It's okay. It's Midlothian. Did you see Arielle's comment on Facebook? She said she wasn't going to volunteer to do a live today because she, she knew if she didn't, then I would have to do it. No, I didn't know that. Boom. <laughs> yeah. You need to stick to your guns, Ariel. Yeah. So, yeah, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. And, I mean, with Brandon, it's fine. I, I still don't know if I want to do it by myself, but it's totally different by... with the duo thing. <laughs> what? You should do one by yourself. I it's mean, just I'm as, have it's to just as awkward and weird, which, but we had to, so you have to do. I know, I know. I make you guys do it, and I'm just like, I'm never going to have to do it, because y'all can just do it. Yeah, but. truth, truth. Anyway, uh, okay, well, I'm going to have to bugger off, up. because I have to go to a jazz concert. Oh, yeah, and yeah, it's about time so, anyways. So, But I had a lot of fun, guys. Thanks for tuning in. It was great to see everybody. Yeah, and look out for a post tomorrow uh, launching the podcast. The podcast. Woot! Okay, bye. Is that the last we need to see and hear more? Okay, okay, I promise. I promise. All right. Yeah. Yeah, she'll okay. be back. I promise. I'll make her. Okay, in unison. One and a two. Be well, everyone. Just kidding. Be well. I don't know. Okay, bye. 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 And last.